to show you how I fucked it up. <laughs> and we're back. Okay, I've been I've been putting the continuation of our stamping and mold previous video. I'll link back to that one. It's been a little while and I apologize for that. It's one of those deals where I wasn't quite sure what to do. I mean, I knew what I wanted to do, but I wasn't quite sure how to do it. So I kept putting it off. I can't be the only person who does this. <laughs> I am truly great at procrastinating when I'm not absolutely sure how I'm gonna deal with something. And this was one of those times, but I want to put this resin piece that we made onto a black box. I want to do something to zhuzh up the box a little. I want to zhuzh this up a little. So I have my waxes out. I'll start down here. <laughs> I'll start down here. I'll try and keep my head out of the way. Uh, these go on very, very smoothly. It's like a, well, a wax or a gel or sort of a combo of a wax gel, maybe. <laughs> but it does set up. So tomorrow, these won't rub off. They'll be set up and, and on here, like paint after it's dried. put this aside to set up. We won't be working with this anymore today. It can go set up in the other room. Okay, so back to the box. So here's the lid. This is actually a beautiful box. I get these from Makerflow. Believe it or not, the Tumblr folks also carry some other things and boxes are one of them. I took the hinges off, they unscrewed, and I took the latch off, also just unscrewed. Put those aside, we'll put them back on when everything else is done. And now because it's been sitting on my workbench, it's covered with glitter already, which nothing wrong with that. And it's certainly to be expected. I love how the, they've even got the bottom flocked for you already. That's really nice. So what I wanna do here, in spite of the fact that I'm always kind of complaining about the transfer foils, I'd really like to try them on here. And to everybody's surprise, instead of going for perfection, I'm going to go for using them in a distressed way. And then we're gonna put the, well, actually this is the top, and we're gonna put the resin piece on the top, put the hinges and the, the latch back on, maybe do some other things. Maybe I'll go with the distressed foils all the way around. First things first, let's do the outside. So to do that, I'm gonna get my Artsyville Embellishments Foil Adhesive from Artistic Painting Studio. Uh, I wanna use a chip brush. I wanna just get basically streaks. Let's start by getting a brush. Here's a nice two inch brush, chip brush. That should work well. You know what, let's just, let's just be smart and do the the bottom of the box first and see how we like it. I'm gonna go clean my brush. I'll bring you back in an hour and we'll give the foils a try. Okay, we're back. The glue is dried. It's tacky. I have my silver foil here. Uh, this is one of the rare times when it looks the same on both sides, but the shinier side is the protective layer. And we're just gonna see what happens. It may not need a scrub brush, but this is what Jen at Artistic Painting Studios, if you've watched any of her videos, and I'll link to that channel below, she really goes to town. I guess some foils need it more than others, but it seems to be the preferred way to get contact with everything underneath. So let's see what happens, if I can. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. With the exception of me going this way with the brush at the end. I'm okay with this. That looks great. That actually looks great. Okay, time to commit to the top of the box now. The important bit. <laughs> Do the same thing again. Go wash my brush again. And I'll bring you back when this is dry. Okay, we're back again. The top of the lid is done. 
drying. So it's tacky now, and I'm just gonna put this down on it, and we're gonna see how this one goes. go. All right. I have to do the fourth side on this and all the sides on that. And I think I'll probably do all that off camera unless I run into some sort of problem and want to bring you back to show you how I fucked it up. <laughs> it's always possible. Otherwise, I'm going to bring you back, do some other things here and then get the, the uh, resin piece on it. This is the top of the box. I've done all the sides with foil. And then on the inside, I spray painted everything black and then I did foil on the inner lid. And then down here, I did black all the way around. This was all raw wood before. The whole thing looks fantastic now, I think. I'm very pleased with how it looks. Now it's time to put on the finishing touches and that will be our newly zhuzhed resin piece of the Enchanted Castle. Get out my E600, the glue that glues everything to everything because it's glue and we will just glue it. Okay, so we have our main piece in place. We're gonna put on these gorgeous fake corner protectors that I found on Amazon because I just think that adds a certain panache. So I'll continue with my E6000 here. I have these from uh, Dollar Tree, and while these are clearly fakey sorts of things, I was wondering how it would look. Put one of these in the middle here. I'm not sure. It comes with its own sticky, but I'm gonna put some E6000 on it anyway, make it even stickier. There we go. All right, so we're, we're nearing the end. I am gonna let everything dry that we just put on, let all the glue dry, and then I'm gonna take this probably outside. It needs varnish, this DecoArt Triple Thick Brilliant Brush-On Gloss Glaze. And then I'll put the hardware back on and I'll bring you back for the final look. Stick with me, folks. 